Hey guys, Joshua Gondamu here with another custom Gundam MSI review. And today I'm reviewing the GM Sniper G version 2. Oh yeah, I've already made a ground type Gundam version 2 and a ground type GM version 2. And it was time to make a GM ground type version 2. So I did. And you can see by his pose that he's doing some things that uh, you only wish that he could do as a figure. And uh, he's doing it quite well. Looks very, very cool. Move him a little bit closer. Gets that nice sniper pose going on. Could probably... Nah, arm doesn't quite reach to support the rifle. No, no, there it is. Almost. <laughs> but uh, let's get to the actual review. Basically, the what I did was I embedded version 2 joints. I just did a big joint replacement and uh, some, some cutting. And overall, this has not really raised the height or the uh, messed up the proportions of the figure. So we have the version 2 right here and the version 1. You can see that height-wise, they are pretty much the same. Arm length-wise, pretty much the same. Leg length, pretty much the same. It's phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I intend to do a long but complete tutorial video on how to make ground type Gundam for version 2s, which will appeal up, apply to any of the ground type Gundams. Because they all have the same joints and you can use the same method to create the version 2. So it will work with all the weapons, the beam saber, the beam rifle, and other things. The giant beam gun. I didn't make any changes to the weapons or anything themselves. The shield I left the number on. Uh, on this one I removed the number just to make it kind of cooler. The shoulders are the same, but the elbow joint is now a version 2 joint. Lots more flexibility there. It has uh, the hands, hand uh, plugs, I guess, for the strike. And uh, I cut off the nub and I drilled a hole in there. And so now the hand is a ball joint, which is nice. I also generally cut a, uh, a trigger finger into the left hand, but I kept messing up on this one. So I had to super glue it back and then I'll, I'm gonna have my wife cut it because I tried two times and I was like, I'm making it worse. But all the others have trigger hands on their left hand as well, which is nice. The knees. The, the the arm joints, just so you know, come from the Strike Gundam. If you watch my tutorial video on joint replacement, you'll pretty much get the lowdown on this. And, uh, because it's all in there. The, uh, embedding of the joint requires a little bit of super glue to give it more friction. You don't glue it in, you just give it glue to make it hold better. And then you take it out and let it dry, not in there. It looks like it was a little tight, so. But um, it turns right here. Still has that articulation. It's just very good articulation. You don't really gain a, a length in the arm that looks awkward or lanky, which is nice. The head can t look all kinds of ways. You know, it can left, right, up, down. And that's because um, I took a knife and recut at the head there no real differences um anywhere else above the torso except for the torso itself which gets cut and uh a ball joint a, a ball ended uh adrenal bit goes in and makes the ball joint deeper and uh more round so that the strike gundam or Dual Gundam's joint can uh, fit through and pop in there and give it that nice torso flexibility, which helps, you know, with flexibility and everything. I did all this because I'm a stop motion animator. I animate these figures and I thought, dude, I want more flexible figures, but I want them to be the same scale. And how's that going to happen? You know, so made them myself. The knee joints come from the ground from the uh, Gundam version 2, just the regular Gundam version 2. And uh, there's a little bit of work 
of cutting them to fit there. One thing I did to help it get that, um, that pose you saw earlier was I took a knife and I cut out this back piece of its ankle or its heel. And that's not um, something I wanted to do to both feet because it just kind of looks strange. So I have a spare foot for when he's not kneeling and a special foot that, you know, has quite a bit of flexibility with that knot there that can really help him with that kneeling pose. And, you know, with the, the torso joint and the head being more flexible, he can really show off that kind of pose. It's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. It's something I wish that, you know, a lot, not a lot of these figures, but some of these figures got version 2 releases. The Gundam version 2, the GM version 2, the Dom version 2. Then they jumped to the extended line, and I felt like they left a lot of these already really good figures, but um, they could have been so much more. But that's where it comes in, you know, being a crazy collector is, you know, getting your hands on enough to uh, be brave and improve upon them and even customize and that is one really fun thing to do it brings me a great joy to make these i suppose if somebody sent me all the parts i needed and then something for trade i'd probably build them one well if you're looking for gundam msi action figures make sure to check out our store gundams r us your favorite arms dealer this link down below and the more info you're in we get new stuff all the time sometimes even customs and uh if you've ever watched a video for a custom that I made and you would like one of them and you're willing to supply the parts, keyword, you have to supply the parts, um, send me a message. I might do it for you for trade. Catch you guys later.